Oh, I'm excited about this one. It's the one spot in town where you and your friends can go dressed up like Madonna or Michael Jackson and nobody bats an eye. Our executive producer, Kenya Kano, is taking us for a totally rad night out at Studio 80 in Fort Worth. Okay, calling all you 80s kids, dust off that members only jacket, pull on some leg warmers, and follow me into the 80s. First of all, can I say, I'm an 80s chick. I had Michael Jackson, Tiger Beat, pinup posters all over my wall, Bon Jovi, like you name it. This place takes me back. It's amazing. Tell me about the idea behind it and, and how it all started. It all started because I like 80s music. Today's music is not the greatest music in the world and people still know the 80s and the 80s is the new 50s. So for the older clientele, there's nowhere in DFW for them to go. People 35 and 40 that live the 80s. And I would say, you know, probably didn't remember the 80s the first time, but now you can remember them this time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so not only, Jeff, or do you have fun and, you know, and people come to have a good time, but you also give back. Tell us about the event that you have here. We do a Night of the Shining Stars every year, where it's like a prom for all the uh, Down Syndrome folks, where they actually come in, train for three weeks, and every job in the house, from the bartenders, to the DJs, the managers, the floor names, the wait staff, are the uh, Down Syndrome folks and the shining, are shining Stars, and then all the money raised, they get a paycheck at the end of the night. The co-owner, Dr. Rock, he's in charge of entertainment, is that right? Yeah, he's a ham. Okay, and we're gonna go and talk to him because he's gonna tell us, you know, kind of what goes on, what people can expect here. Let's go talk. Tell me what this place turns into at night. Tell it's me about the entertainment. all about living in the past of the 80s. From the MTV, everything that MTV came out with eight in 1981, the original videos. We show the original videos. All the original videos, Michael Jackson, Prince, Def Leppard, Bon Jovi, Whitney Houston, Cyndi Lauper, all the old stuff, and a lot of things to go with it. We have Ariel that's mm -hmm. uh, perform over the dance floor. People are astounded by that. Mm -hmm. We have inflatables that come out and dance to walk the dinosaur. Robot uh, with lasers in their their helmets and lasers coming out of their fingertips. Probably like every third or fourth song, you'll hear a song that you remember, and I get me and my DJs. We get the the crowd to sing along. <laughs> Okay, we cannot leave here without me giving you some 80s trivia. So I've got some. Here we go, guys. Okay, so this is a square box. It's a game, a little square box with colors that you match up. What is it called? Rubik's Cube. You got it. Rubik's Cube. I told him the answer. I want to sit that way. You got it. Okay, now this is a movie that was known for traveling back in time. I'll give you a clue. Name this line. Roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Badges? We don't need uh, stinking badges. <laughs> wrong, wrong idea. Did you hear? Wait, did you hear? Did you hear my clue? Where you travel? They traveled back in time. Back to the future. Back to the future. Ding 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 ding. Back to the future. Back to the future. There we go. What kind of car was featured in Back to the Future? I know. I know. Wait a minute. It wasn't a DeLorean. It was a DeLorean! It was a DeLorean! You got it! DeLorean! This one, y'all have your hands down. It's a channel that used to play music videos. Go! M. T. V. Yay! <laughs> See? That wasn't hard. You got it. You passed. Yay! Okay. This has been so much fun, guys, really. So, if people want to come out here and experience all of this, where should they go? Oh. Facebook page, okay. Facebook, Studio 80, spelled out, E-I-G-H-T-Y. Okay, guys, and if you want to see more of this and stories like these, go to our website, CW33.com.